it's another skills Friday where we learn how to get our skill ready for the game so we ain't out there looking lame. Go gang. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and comment to our content. We are here to help you. Turn from cheese to the macaroni and cheese, man. Yeah, hell. So today we're gonna learn how to block as a running back. Short video, but we're gonna go into it. And the importance of blocking as a running back is you don't want your quarterback to get his his, his Cheerios knocked out of his out of his or Oreos. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to make sure he has everything intact. You don't want him to get blindsided. You don't want him to take unnecessary hits. And you want to block. You always want to block for your teammates. So as a running back, it could be a little bit more difficult because people don't ever really just learn this. And I learned this in college. Like they was just expected to know it. And I was just looking like, uh, y'all ain't going to teach these guys how to block as a running back. But today we're going to teach you how to block as a running back. And you just, just remember the three R's. This is a short video. The first R is read. You got to be able to scan the defense before the snap and understand who needs to be blocked. If you see a defensive end hanging all the way outside of the tackle, it's going to be tough for that tackle to get that defensive end. So you got to look like, okay, I need to pick him up. This tackle is probably going to pick the, the linebacker, the blitzing linebacker up, and this defensive end is coming at 100 miles an hour. So I need to pick him up first. The second thing you need to do is react. You need to go towards the defender with no fear and a great base. Now, if you see this this outside linebacker and he's, I mean, this defensive end and he's huge, he's like 6'8", and it's like, oh man, this guy's huge. I don't, I don't really want to hit him. Well, you, know, you got to hit him or, or your quarterback's going to get blasted, sandblasted. You don't, want, you don't want that to happen. That's how you get pulled out of games. I've seen it happen. And the third point is you want to respond. You got to be able to fire your guns and strike the defender. Now, when you react, make sure you have a great base and you're able to strike your guns and strike the defender. Finish the block by moving your feet and keeping a great base. So you got to be able to strike your defender, strike your guns, hit that defender as hard as you can. It, it, it's it's very simple, but sometimes we overcomplicate things. Like, don't be scared, man. Hit that dude. Check this video out on the screen if you want to be mean on that green, or real on that field, or extort on that court. The No Bottle Left Behind that supports this video. You feel me?